welcome back. Well, today I'm going to give you a look at our lighthouse setup. We've had this for a while, just actually in the box and then in the closet and then on the floor. Um, and the kids love playing with it. They've been playing with it for a long time. But our little lake area, which is going to eventually go there by the window, it is not set up. So, but anyway, I just really wanted to set this up and uh, do a little video with the sea breeze bunnies who will be living here um, and uh, show you the projector and all that well here is a look at the front this color combination is just so well done and i love it so much i love the brick and then this is of course removable and you can rearrange oopsies um the uh, fencing to create kind of like a walkway which I think is really cool so maybe when we configure our little uh, lake area this might be like a bridge or something so that's fun and of course this can also go on the other side of the lighthouse to create more living space if you don't feel you need a porch so I think that's what we're going to do um, at least if the if we're playing with it if the kids are like actively in there because it's like you know these, all these Calico Critter Sylvanian families' houses are just like, there's never enough room. Here's a little look at the beautiful door. Look at that detailing. I might paint that blue or red. I never, ever, ever would have thought to do that, but I saw it on Southern Sylvanians and it's just so cool. What I saw on her channel was that she had painted these details here and it just looked beautiful. And she said in the comments that she uses a very fine, uh, a fine tip brush. So anyway, that's something I'm thinking about doing. And I feel like it needs something here, maybe a little detail. It's like, I hate to like, you know, modify these, but like the more, you know, I think about it and I see what you guys are doing with your sets, the more inspired I am. Like I might want to paint these little um, boats red or white, anyway. And I, this roof is so beautiful. I love the look of it. Um, just really cool. It has a real uh, vintage lighthouse kind of theme here. And these railings are removable, although there'd be no reason to remove them. Uh, although my son might like to see the critters fall off, so he might. And then here, of course, uh, is the, the, where the light comes out. Now this is a little reflective mirror. So what happens is there's a bright bulb that projects out here. I'll show you in a second um, and then turn it on uh, at the end. And then it reflects and bounces off of these mirrors and then comes out of the side. Um, and uh, then you have the light from the lighthouse or you can project these really cool uh, images onto the ceiling. Like right now we have the, um, is that the Skyride Adventure, like kind of like the ET traveling through the moon. So that's fun. And it will not turn on unless you have it inserted. So you see it does not look bright here, but it's actually pretty bright. So after I show you the inside, I'll turn the lights on. Here's a look at the side. A nice big box window here. And then this is a meant to be a kitchen in here. We have it as a dining room. And then it's uh, just the lighthouse and open on the side. Okay, let me turn around and give you a look inside. And here is a look on the inside. I place the sea breeze rabbits inside. Looks like the mother is on lookout. I'll turn the lights off and show you that here in a minute. This lighthouse is just so fun. And sister is in her bedroom. Now, I guess brother and sister are gonna share this bed, but they probably won't mind because it's a super fun boat bed. <laughs> I would have loved to have a bed like this as a kid. Now, I know you're supposed to hang it up. It has some strings. You can hang it up right on those, that hook and that hook, or you can hang it up right here on um, these hooks here. But, I didn't really want the bed in the living space. And it, when you hang it up on the top floor here, you have to remove this uh, floor. So that really wasn't practical. So I basically just took the strings off and uh, it's gonna be a bed like that. 
but a really fun bed. Now, like so many Sylvanian buildings, unfortunately there is not much room in here. And these uh, ceilings, you know, the roof is pitched, um, so not a lot of furniture fits in. Uh, you know, for every square inch you get, you really don't. So I use this kind of as a room separator to give the parents a little privacy. Um, and I love this piece so much. It's such a fun uh, little dresser that we got uh, recently um, and used that in there. I thought it matched the uh, bed pretty well. The color's a little bit off, but it's fine. Um, so they've got their little uh, fun ocean themed toys up there and whatnot. And it has kind of a more kid youth theme. And then mom and dad Seabreeze Bunny are over here uh, in their bed and they have a little balcony there, um, which for practical purposes, if the kids are in here playing, we'll probably move this dresser out of the way because they're gonna wanna put mom and dad on the balcony because that is a cool balcony. And let's go down here. This little spiral staircase is really fun and you can position it however you want, you know? Um, so I thought this made the most sense. Um, basically, you know, you come down this way and you're in the kitchen. And uh, that um, oven little sink thing is supposed to fit in there and it fits perfectly in there. But then it made the rest of the space, there was like nothing you could do with the rest of the space. Uh, so I thought that would be a really pretty little dining room with a round table. So we put those pretty little uh, purple roses on the table with a little piece of lace and then just stuck the uh, kitchen right there. So I think that works okay. It's not ideal, but hey, it's a toy. And uh, we made them a little pantry out of a shelf. So that's working out okay. And of course this uh, goes to the front of it. Um, and then in here we have a little living room. This furniture came with the lighthouse. I love it so much. This beautiful uh, dolphin or whale table. So pretty. I would like one of those in adult size. We put a little uh, candy dish there, and I guess that's potpourri, that little dish of brown stuff. I think it's potpourri. It's meant to go in a bathroom. And a little basket with some books. Uh, one of those books is the uh, Seaside Story. I'm sure you won't be able to read that. And that pretty little kind of seashell-looking couch uh, came with a lighthouse. So there you have it. That's the inside. And I just think these Seabreeze rabbits are a perfect fit for this lighthouse. I love the red and blue color. You know, most of these sets, you know, you get these pastels and lighter colors. Now you do have a lot of the red roof stuff, so that's kind of a theme, you know, but normally we, we see more of these neutral toned down or pastel colors, you know, like that light yellow and blue. And so it was really fun to have this bright red and blue detailed lighthouse and they did it really well. I don't normally like brightly colored, like obnoxious colored toys, um, but they did it so well. I think that it just works so well with the light color brick. Uh, so I love it. And uh, these Seabreeze rabbits have that same red and blue. It's perfect. And they're just very uh, nautical themed in their clothing. So they fit perfectly in this lighthouse. So this is not where this lighthouse will live. It will live uh, in our little lake camping area. Where did mother go? Oh, there she is. Um, once we have that set up. And uh, we just, it's been a crazy time. If you have a lot of siblings or a couple of kids, you know like if one gets sick, they all get sick. And we just dealt with that all in rotation. Um, but hopefully things settle down and I'll be able to put together that little lake area and then we will have our lighthouse on display. All right, well, thanks for watching. Oh, real quick, let me show you how it looks with the light show, with the light on. All right, it's as dark as I can get the room. Here goes nothing. See, that's, not, that's pretty bright. I mean, compared to other lights that you see in these sets that like you can't even tell it's on, like uh, the um, Red Roof Country Home is like so dim. Here, I'll show you real quick. I mean, it's like laughably dim. Okay, so that's on. 
But is it on? Yeah, technically. But it's like you can't even see it. So, you know, that's kind of what I was expecting when we got this lighthouse and I turned it on. I was like, oh, wow, that's pretty bright. And then for the projection, you know what? Let me close this door and see if that helps. A little bit. Yeah, so you can kind of see it upside down. Whoopsies. Did I put it in wrong? Nope, there's only one way it can go in. Um, but yeah, it's like projecting upside down, so that's kind of weird. But very fun. I guess if this set was turned around, would it be right side up? So, oh, math equations can't do it. So anyway, that's a look at it uh, with the light on. Well, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.